How are you doing guys? It's Big Mac Dance School here again today uh, on day number 17. Is it 17? Yeah, I, I, I seem to never know what day it is on these things, but day number 17, I think, of October. Um, I've got a freehand video for you today and that's for a very good reason. It's so I can uh, move the phone. I'm filming it on a round and uh, show you a few different angles. So this is um, the leg section of my Dreadnought. Not my Dreadnought, my Gorkonaut or Morkonaut. Um, this is my proposed uh, layout. Now um, I've cut the spoon down so it's not round at the top um, and that's what I'm using as the kneecap. Uh, this till roll tube, it's a bit difficult to see because of the lighting. There's a till roll tube there, I'll cut that down as well and that'll form the, the knee joint. Um, so the knee uh, cap will be just covering the knee joint on the sides. Um, and then behind the knee joint, the pistons uh, the hydraulic pistons will feed in to behind the knee joint, hopefully. Um, the McDonald's spoon handle uh, is the thigh part of the leg and the lower part of the leg, the shin part. Um, this here uh, is not definitely what I'm going to use for the foot, um, but this is like a, a bracket that holds something on the wall um, in a shop, holds like big pictures on the wall. Um, and that could form um, a nice foot, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'd probably need something else on the back as well. Um, I'll show you the Gorkonaut itself. The actual Gorkonaut kit that is. So if you can uh, look past the Gretchen there on the base, so if you look at the foot, it has a piece on the back and a piece on the front and it's all very blocky. Um, so I might want something more similar to that. Um, yeah, it's it's tricky. I want it. I want it to look similar to that, so that's why I'm going for, you know, more or less the same shape, and I'm probably going to go for the same sort of stance. Um, and uh, oh, also on a previous video, um, I can't remember exactly who it was, but um, somebody commented they thought the spoon head for the kneecap was um, was the wrong shape uh, because orcs obviously use um, just like panels rather than uh, curved stuff. So that's why I've taken the top off. I was never intending to leave the top on. Um, but I've taken the top off so it's a, a little bit more angular. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll just show you the knee on the actual Gorkonaut Morkonaut kit. It is actually a curved panel. Um, so I do, I want it to mimic uh, that. So that's why I am going with a curved panel there. And it's actually, it looks like a really badly cut curved panel, which is pretty much what I've done with the spoon. When I've, when I've cut it, it seems to have, uh, it's curved a little bit where I've been cutting it. So. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> it actually looks pretty similar now. Um, I understand what you're saying though about um, the uh, just the square cut panels with the orcs. Um, it does it does suit them a lot, uh, but because I want it to be, I mean, with the body of the uh, Gorkonaut, the way I'm building it out of the drop pod, it it, it looks like a Gorkonaut. You know, the the silhouette of it's going to be more or less the same. It's just a bit bigger. Um, but I, I want those little things to be the same as well. So that's why I'm going with the spoon head for the for the kneecap. Um, you know, when I, when I get to the stage of actually gluing it together, I might look at it and think, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not too fond of it actually, and I might change it then. Um, you know, there's there's always, with a kit like this, there's always um, always chance to change it until I put the first, you know, first couple of layers of paint on. I mean, I can even change it then if I want, but um, yeah, that's, that's really like the, the point of no return for me. Because I can't be bothered painting it and stripping it and painting it and stripping it. Because it'd be too much work. Uh, yeah, so that's that's an update on the leg section. Um, remember, guys, if you've got any questions for me, um, pop them in the comments below. And I will try and address, well, I will address them, rather, on the um, Walk and Talk video. Um, which is this month's Walk and Talk video. Obviously, I, I never said, I, I don't think I said I was going to do them every month. I said I thought I was, I'd try and do them every month if I got enough questions. But I only got a couple of questions. Um, so yeah, remember, pop any questions you have for me in the comments down below, and I'll probably film an Orkin talk tomorrow, um, but it might be uh, might be later in the week, it might be Monday, Tuesday, something like that. Um, I've got my driving theory test on Tuesday, so I'll be studying for that hard over the week this weekend. Um, so yeah, that's everything for you. Uh, thanks very much for watching, guys. Um, if you have any comments about the foot as well, or the rest of the leg, um, Feel free. It's all, uh, you know, I do take everything into consideration, especially the comment about the kneecap. Um, I don't really, I don't think it'll look any better with square panels. Uh, it could do, 
but you know um, until I've actually started gluing it together and stuff I, I need to cut this till roll piece down and then hold that over maybe and then I might have a better idea but um, yeah I think it looks okay with the curve panel myself um, but thanks very much for the input thanks very much for watching guys and I will see you on the battlefield